Okay, I want extra credit. I made this too. <laughs> It is so cold. <laughs> it is so cold out here. I cannot believe it. Yesterday, yesterday they said 25 degrees. Well, I think it hit about 2.5 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, by the way. That's like negative 600 Kelvin or something like that. I don't know. It's cold out here. So today I've been out here running my furnace, my little foundry furnace, just to get to where I'm not seeing my breath all the time and my hands can move. It's cold out here. They're saying it's supposed to hit almost 50 today, but eh, who knows. Anyway, uh, and I'm having nothing but audio trouble, so I'll oh, say a quick prayer that I don't go silent like that. <laughs> I'm just hoping it'll work. So here's what we got going today. Uh, I got to get this hammer done. For those of you who are students of Paul, I want to tell you something about Paul that you don't know. Paul makes light in his videos about, oh, it takes me forever, I'm a procrastinator, whatever. Well, let me tell you what. We started this hammer project, and about 20 minutes into the project, he said, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, I cannot believe how fast this guy has been moving. So uh, I got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, I, got, I spent my days before Christmas making gifts. I think Paul spent his days looking at his finished hammer and mocking me. I, I don't know, but I got, I got a lot to get done today. So uh, I'm going to try to move fast. Uh, I'll let me just show you what we got going uh, as far as pieces, parts, and things. And uh, hey, I got a new lens too for Christmas. That is so cool because now I can get within like three feet of the camera and talk to you. Before, the lens I had was like always zoomed. So I had to stand clear across my garage and <laughs> So now I'm like right here. I feel like I feel like we could just talk and it'll work. So here's my um, I gotta wait for the cold air to there we go, we're focused now. This is my hammer head printed up in 3D. It's a 3D print. Now it's tiny. Um, I wanted a rounding hammer and it turned into a ball peen. <laughs> I think it's ball peen, but um, you can see what it looks like here. Coolest logo ever. But I had to spend a bunch of time on it yesterday because I had a buddy of mine print these up for me. Um, very graciously printed them up. I appreciate it. Thank you, James. However, when we talked, I thought we talked about ABS. So what I did, and I'm going to put a, I'll put it up over here. Where am I? I'll put it up over here. I'll stand to the side so you can see the video. I made a, uh, I, I, I started to do the acetone bath. I was going to use acetone to smooth it out. Uh, and what that means is basically you tent it or you, put, you create an environment of uh, acetone vapor uh, that, you, that will just kind of bathe this, this stuff and it will smooth it out, smooth out the ridges well. All the stuff that you're watching over here is, was me trying to pull that off, right? And it, uh, I did it and did it and did it and did it and nothing happened, which tells me, James, this is... PLA, not ABS, um, which maybe is the case. I don't know. So what I ended up doing, let me get this in real close and see if you can't see. This is another one he printed for me. See if it'll focus here for me. Maybe it'll focus. Maybe I'm too close. There we go. You see the ridges in here. You can see what it looks like. Uh, all of these little ridges... Come on, stay focused. It's so stinking cold out here. Yeah. If I stand with it, who knows? Anyway, all these little ridges are sand catchers. And that, what that means is every time you go to pull this up out of the, um, the, pad, the mold, the sand comes with it. So I spent a long time sanding this down. I used like 100 grit to get it to get the ridges off, and then I use like a 220 or something to just smooth it out. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out now. These are really smooth. I think they're going to release just fine. Um, the question I've got, and i got to figure this out, and we'll figure it out together, I guess, is 
I do one, I flip it over, I do the other. How do I get this one? How do I get it lined up so that it doesn't move and stuff? I think I'm going to use double-sided sticky tape. Ugh. So let's, uh, I guess that's the next step, get it rammed up. Maybe turn the furnace back on so I can ugh, not freeze. Okay, we've got a good coating of release agent on there. Now, one of the things I'm a little concerned about is my sand, my Petrobon actually being able to stick together because it is cold and I'm afraid that it may not uh, want to bind to itself. See, like I mean, just kind of pours through there like it's like there's no adhesion to it at all. Uh, it could be because this has already been broken up some, but um, I don't know. It's kind of, I'm a little bit worried about that. We'll get this in here. Although it is nice going in, I mean, I will tell you that, it's pretty simple. <laughs> I've started um, sifting pretty much all of my, my sand now because, well, for a couple reasons. One is when you use this stuff, you get this, all right? You get these burned pieces. Now, if you just drop those burned pieces in here, and big clumps, nothing sticks to them. And I, I've had problems pulling the mold apart where it just comes apart on me because uh, I got this big hunk of basically carbon. <laughs> I guess it's just carbon, I don't know. However, if I do this, I break up those lumps and kind of disperse it across all of the sand. It doesn't seem to be as big a problem. Now, it could be that at some point I'm gonna have a problem because I'm gonna have so much of that burn stuff in here that it just will never adhere, but um, right now, that's what I'm doing. Okay, we got, I got the hard part done. <laughs> the hard part. <laughs> this is the easiest part of the whole thing right here. I got to figure out now how I'm going to get this on here like that and get it lined up right. I think I'm going to use double-sided sticky tape but I'm not sure. And the other, because the other question is once I've done that, I got to get these things apart and I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. So I think we're going to try the sticky tape first. I'll get this talc off of here um, best I can first. And then um, we'll stick it down, ram up the other side and then get to the next step. I have my wife's, my roll of my wife's favorite double-sided sticky tape. And uh, we're just going to put it on there. <sighs> oh, man. This has got to be perfect. I don't know. Once it's down, I'm sure it's down. Like that. Or it's got sand all over the tape. Or, well... I guess I don't have to worry about it sticking because it's not. Plan B. What are we going to do for plan B now? What do you think? Plan B, just set it on there? Boy, I don't know. What do I got to lose? What, what, I mean, I can do this and I can just recast it if I have to, I guess. So let's see if I can't just hold this thing in place. Without it moving around on me. <laughs> oh boy, the pressure, the pressure. Let's just see if we can't get this on here, get enough of it on there. Maybe I can just push it down gently without it moving underneath there. Okay, let's see how we. Uh, yeah, let's see how we did. Take this thing apart and see what we get. Okay, let me show you what just happened to me. I, I got this all rammed up again, second time around. Um, I think it looks reasonably clean. But when I picked this thing up, this uh, piece of the pattern just fell right out. So I guess it's going to come out clean without any trouble. <laughs> let's see what we can't do with this. Uh, this guy down here now. I got to gate it and I got to vent it and I got to do those kind of things first. 
I <laughs> cannot believe how hard this has been. This is now attempt three, count them three, to get this thing rammed up. And I just cut in my vents here and uh, this piece between the sprue and the face of the hammerhead just collapsed on me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cast it and just deal with it. I'll just grind it down. Uh, I'm not sure what else to do. There's a lot of places where the sand is not cooperating. So hopefully we're gonna get a reasonably decent pour out of this thing. Um, I've still got one last key piece that, um, I don't know how we're gonna do this, but this is the clamshell that uh, my buddy printed up for me to print this um, uh, core that's gotta go in there still. So I gotta get this core in. I, boy, I don't know, we're gonna, see, we'll see. So let me see what I can do about getting that. And then we're going to pour. I think we're just going to pour and let the chips fall where they may. And and hopefully everything will turn out okay in, in the end. It's just like welding. I'm assuming it's just like welding, right? It's like 10% weld time, 90% grind time. <laughs> I'm going to approach it that way. All right, well, <laughs> we got it out. Now I need to get it in there. This is going to come off. Um, lay it on this piece of just the back of a, the tape I used and see if I can't set it down in there gently. Pretty good from this side. <laughs> oh man, this is nerve wracking. All right, Paul, why did I let you talk me into this? <laughs> it might've been my idea. <laughs> All right, now I gotta get this on here without any more of it falling apart, I hope. This is where I'm gonna have to grind it because it just, oh, look at that. There's another big hunk just falling out. We are down. I don't know what happened inside. I don't care. <laughs> let me get this stuff melted and we'll get it poured. Okay, it's all quiet. Here we go. Into the sprue and out the vents. It's been cooling for, I don't know, it's been cooling for about 15 minutes or so. Shall we assume that that means there's it's not molten on the inside. I don't think it, I think we'll probably be fine. So let's see if we can't lift this whole thing up. Oh, I can't do that. It's all collapsing underneath me. So, now I guess we try to pull it out. So now we can all be surprised. See how it goes. Well, I see, it looks sort of like a hammer. There's a lot of flash, I got a flash line I got to clean off, but uh, I don't know, it's looking, looking pretty good. It is one hot mamma jamma. Oh, oh baby. There's my vent, there's my other vent. Pretty good. See, this is where it all collapsed. See that right there? That's actually not a big deal to me because I'll just grind that right off there. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. Look, there's my nail going right through my core. There's my core and right there's my hole right in the middle of my hammerhead. This is looking pretty good. It's not perfect. I see a couple little imperfections things, but uh, man, I think we're gonna make do with it. I think it's gonna look good enough. So we're gonna let this cool for a lot longer so I can touch it and I'll start cleaning it up. Okay, say two, maybe three, two of the hammer build. Uh, the hammerhead is done, but I'm not gonna show it to you just yet because it's too cool. And I want you to stay to the end.
<laughs> Here's my hammer handle. This is a piece of, I don't even know what this is. I was assuming it was a piece of oak off a pallet or something, but I don't know what it is. But this is going to be my hammer handle. So got to make that this morning and get this thing done. We're just going to trim the corners up, clean it up, and uh, we'll get a couple of slots cut in, dry some little wedges. Let's get her clean. All righty, the handle is, I'm going to call it good. Um, not perfect. You can still see some old saw marks, original rough cut um, from that piece of oak that I found. Uh, but it feels pretty good in my hand. The head, the head fits on here nicely. Got a nice little taper to, to kind of wedge it down on. Uh, I got to cut a couple of slots in here. I don't know if I'll do one or two. I do two. We'll see. And I think I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to forge the wedges. Um, because I bet Paul didn't do that. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and forge a couple of wedges and see, we can, see if we can't use those to drive in there. Um, debating whether or not to put any kind of finish on here. Uh, only because, uh, I don't know if I've got any, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, man, there's nothing like a, not the nice feel of a piece of just raw, wood in your hand I don't know and I think that if I were to actually use this thing which I won't and you'll find out why in a minute um, I think I wanted if my hands sweat I want it to be able to absorb some of the, the moisture and not just get all slippery on me so I may this thing may be unfinished just like it is so let's go ahead and uh, let me get the forge fired up and we'll make a couple of wedges I'm gonna kind of cheat I don't know if it's cheating but I got a piece of this uh, quarter inch key or square. I'm just going to go ahead and drive a wedge on the end of it. liking that I'm liking that so I think what I'm going to do one last little piece I've seen guys put ridges across here just to kind of help hold them in I think I'm going to do that I'm going to one more heat put a chisel on there and just kind of uh, put a couple of lines across here just to give it something to not stick out so much that's going to be a nice taper I think it'll stay in there tight um, we'll only have to do one I'll we'll have to do one slot I think we'll see I don't know if that'll do anything or not, but uh, I feel better about myself. <laughs> All right. Cut the slot. We're done. All righty. I can't hide it from you any longer. <laughs> handle's ready. There's the handle. Got a slot cut in it. We're all tapered. Cleaned. I should cut it to length. Feels pretty good. There's the hammerhead in all of its glory. Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute to tell you why I can't use it. But let's first, let's just get it on there. So there's what it's going to look like. Wow, there's what it looks like. Let's see if we can't get it up here closer. You can see it. That's it finished. What do you think? Got the cool logo. At least I think it's a cool logo. Um, nice polished up aluminum bronze. I think the whole thing looks pretty darn spiffy. 
let me get this, uh, let's see if we can get this wedge in here. I've never actually made one of these and I've never actually used, inserted one, so let's see what we can't do. All right, there it is. It uh, is not beautiful. You can see that it didn't fill the gap, but it did squeeze that, bring that thing out, and that thing feels solid on there. All right, here's what, uh, there it is. Beautiful, huh? Uh, the, uh, the wedge didn't actually fill the gap perfectly. I mean, I knew it wouldn't, but, uh, so I may actually build another one. I, I may not, I, you know, I probably am not. I tell you why, because this, do you see this? Let me bring this up a little bit closer here. You see that hole right there? That happened when I poured it. Now, when I poured this thing, I had uh, this way. The sprue is here coming in this direction. I had a vent here and I had a vent back here. For whatever reason, and, and you saw when I did the pour, I had a bronze come up through um, through both vents and it backed up into the sprue. But I ended up with this big air bubble. When I cut the sprue off, I found this inside of it. The sprue was solid looking. And let me tell you something else. When I cast this knife, I had exactly the same problem. The sprue in this case, I had a vent down here in the end of the blade and then the sprue was like right into this handle area and I poured directly into the handle and went out and when I cut the sprue off I had a hole just like this. I don't know why. So maybe maybe one of you guys who actually knows <laughs> what they're doing as opposed to a guy like me um, can tell me why I'm getting these they look like air, bu air hole bubbles but I don't know. So anyway this hammer would it would never get used, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time finishing it out. I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. The logo, the logo cast in there really well. I was shocked that it would do it both that well. Um, this stuff is beautiful. It dresses up just beautiful. I mean, it is gorgeous looking metal. So um, that's it. There's my hammer. It works. Didn't fall off. Um, feels great on there. Actually, feels pretty good in my hand. Uh, it's a little light for what I would use it for, it's like a pound, 1.6 pounds, or one, one pound six ounces, something like that. About 640 grams, 600 and some grams, I think is what it turned out to be. So uh, that's the hammer. I had a great time doing this, and I have linked, I'll link um, over here, I'll go ahead and link uh, a playlist of all four videos from Paul, Paul's videos and my videos together. A lot of fun. Paul, thank you. It was a lot of fun. If you want to subscribe and see more videos, I'll put a link right over here. You guys have a great day.